opinion on um, can we get rid of the Fed? Is it possible? It's technically possible because the Federal Reserve was created by an act of Congress and it can be abolished by an act of Congress. But what must happen before Congress has the backbone to do that? It has to be a complete change in Washington because by and large the people that are in office today are very much beholden to this creature well, but and they're not going to do it. So if the, we have if, a political agenda here. If you have people who, like you say, can, can control through monetary policy, you'll never get those people. You'll never make that change because they would control too much of the money. I mean, they could make the pain enormous. Am I wrong well, on that? Well, that, that, no, you're quite right. In fact, we have the precedent for that during the, the fight between um, President Jackson and the Second Bank of the United States. The uh, head of the, um, the Central Bank, which was that version of the Federal Reserve today, um, his name was Nicholas Biddle, and he fought back exactly that way. When Jackson tried to uh, generate support for getting rid of the Second Bank, he said, I will pull the country down. He said, the nation will fall, the people will fall, but the bank will not fall. That was his exact quote. And uh, he practically succeeded in doing that. So you can be sure, in a contest of this kind, where we're challenging the Federal Reserve power, there's no question in my mind that they will pull out all the stops and try and ruin the economy and then blame it on the fact that sure. we were challenging the Federal well, let, Reserve. Um, let me ask this one question from you, Mark, and then we have to take a break, and that is... Um